TV was held on Wednesday, January 20th. There were 10 students who qualified to compete. Wyatt Odlin, Miles Sandstead, Peter Sandstead, Avery Granning, Zach Kent, Christian Fleming, Lucas Pitson, Amanda Bittman, David Fleming, and Meg Shercliffe. After several intense rounds of questioning, Wyatt Odlin took first place and now has an opportunity to qualify for the state geography bee to be held on April 1st. Avery Granning placed second place and Christian Fleming placed third. Congratulations, Wyatt, and everyone who took part in this. My name is Calista Roars, and I am one of the eighth grade students participating in the Washington, D.C. trip next fall. We will be traveling to Washington, D.C. over MEA break, October 19th through the 22nd. We will spend four days touring the Washington, D.C. area. Some of the trip highlights including, include visiting the Holocaust Museum, Washington Monument, Arlington Cemetery, and the White House. This is a great opportunity to learn more about our country and travel with our classmates. Come and join us on this adventure. You can find travel packets in the office, 8th grade hallway, and in the cafeteria. Ms. Davis and Ms. Rife are our tour guides and can provide you with more detailed travel information. The DMS Spelling Bee took place yesterday, January 21st, in the auditorium. The students who participated were Bethany Miller, Amanda Bittman, Julie Brito, Sydney Trosel, Zachary Kent, Elijah Holthaus, Tiana Held, J.D. Hennon, Shayna Steidel, Zach Tim, and Decker Olson. Seventh grader Zach Kent was the champion and his winning word was electrode. Sixth grader Zach Tim was the runner up. Zach will go on to the Region 4 Spelling Bee in Fergus Falls on February 9th. The seventh grade girls A and B division basketball team played in the Frozen Lakes tournament at the high school last weekend. Even though Alex teams didn't win, they played hard and had some very close games. Which would you choose and what would you do? Um, to be invisible because then I could do anything I want. <laughs> I would fly because then I could go anywhere I wanted. Um, I would choose teleportation. That way you could go anywhere you wanted super quickly instead of waiting for people. If I had one superpower, I'd want to be a shapeshifter because I could be any animal I wanted to be whenever I want to spy people. Um, I would choose um, breathing underwater because it just seems really cool to go underwater with like sharks and stuff and just breathe. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why would you choose that? Levitation because then I, if I'm sitting on the couch, I can get the remote without having to get up. I'm going to have to probably say super strength so you know at the gym I can impress all the ladies. <laughs> Shape shifter so I could become anybody and look like a rock star if I wanted to. If you could have one superpower, which would you choose and what would you do with it? Invisibility and whenever I'm having a test, I would just skip the test and walk out of class. If I could have one superpower, I would choose flying because then I could fly over the world and see all the land and ocean. If I had a superpower, I would be invisible so then I could hide from everybody. I would have the ability to shoot flames from my hands. Because I would be able to start fires so much easier. I would be super fast. Why? So then I could do all my homework in like a second. I would be able to stop well, control time. So if this is a place I hate, I could easily leave. If I could have a superpower, I would want to be able to control water. Because I would be the boss of pretty much everything. I would probably pick surfing because then when you're surfing and flying because when you're surfing you can fly up in the air and then come back down to your board. If I could have any superpower, I'd probably be immortal because, yeah, immortality. They would never die. You could live forever. It would probably be telekinesis so I could pick up stuff if I didn't really feel like getting up. <laughs> if I were to have one superpower, it would be invisibility so I could sneak sneak up behind my brother and give him jumper cables whenever I would please. 
Um, if we could have a super po superpower, we would choose teleportation because we could go in, go in the ever yeah. go in the everywhere in the world. <laughs> I'd have the superpower to be invisible so I could eavesdrop on people. <laughs> It'd be to freeze people so I could freeze my brother and sister. Super speed so I could run away from my mom so she doesn't catch me when I'm doing my chores. Um, I would like to be invisible so I could run down the halls. I would want to be able to fly so instead of paying for plane tickets I could just fly to my destination. I would like to have a suit of armor that was invincible because... That'd be pretty awesome. Super speed, because I could pass Jim. <laughs> I would have the superpower to be invisible so I can hide from Emma Boggs. If I had the superpower, I'd be super stretchy. Um, to have super strength. To be able to change into any other person that had that same superpower. If I had a superpower, I'd be super speed, so I could be super fast. Um, I'd choose x-ray vision because I would want to see two buildings. I would have super speed because then I could go over to countries that need refugees to be brought back to the United States. I could help by bringing them over here quick and fast. I would want the power to stop time so I could save people if they were in danger. If I had a superpower, it would be to run super fast and I would use it to get places faster and I would win races with it. I probably want to fly so I don't have to drive anywhere. I want to be able to shoot money on my hands, like Spider-Man, but with cash, so then I can help people. Oh, thank you. <gasps> For me? Aw. Aw. Strawberry kiwi. Oh, thank you. My favorite. I love it. <laughs> be mine. Best friends forever. I like you a lot. Cupid is right around the corner to spread Valentine cheer. Each year, the Student Council at Discovery Middle School celebrates Valentine's Day. There will be a number of items available for purchase this year. Flowers for $1.50, suckers for $1, stuffed animals for $1, and bracelets for 50 cents. You'll be able to purchase your Valentines during home base starting January 25th through February 9th. Due to a limited supply, we will be selling the bracelets and stuffed animals only during lunch on February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Valentines will be delivered at the end of the day on February 11th. You know the best part? All students at Discovery Middle School will receive a Valentine. Watch out for Cupid!